Hello everybody. Sorry I ain't got the camera on me, but on this snowblower I wanted to do a video on how to change the pull rope on it for the pull start. On this one it's getting a little frayed. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's kind of getting worn out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this off here and we're going to change it. It's pretty simple on this hair one it takes an eight millimeter socket and there will be three bolts one here one here and one here and this will vary from engine to engine even the mowers are pretty much about the same concept the housing will be different but still does the same stuff And you don't need a impact like this or anything. You can do it with just a regular ratchet and socket. Or if you got a nut driver, you could use that. And sometimes the socket don't want to let go. And after you get those off, this will just pull off there. So on this here, I'll move this out of my way, you will want to take and pull your rope out all the way and like I said it's kind of getting worn out there and the customer wants to make sure that it don't break on them if we aren't getting any snow here. So you'll want to pull all your rope out and if you're not sure what size to get or if you already have some I usually do about six foot of it or you could take the length off the one you already got once you get that pulled out all the way take a screwdriver and stick down in there so it don't unwind on you And down inside here you should have a little knot tied in it that you can grab sometimes you can get it without needle nose pliers but it makes it a lot easier pull that out cut your knot off And you got your handle here. Sometimes that can be a little tricky too on getting the rope back out of this when they pull them down in there with a really tight fit. Okay, there I got it. But you'll have some like that. They don't all come out easy. So that's the knot they had in it that was down in there here's the new rope like I said about six foot of it is really good you'll want to make sure when you do it to burn the ends of it it makes it a lot easier when you stick it through here <clears throat> which we'll just go ahead and tie a knot on it and I always cut it off on the inside here that way you ain't got a bunch sticking out take and burn it so it don't come untied on you It don't take a lot on this, but if you just kind of mount it there a little bit, it keeps it from coming undone. And also on some of these, you can stick them through from the outside, or you can do it from the inside, and some of them too, and it's easy. 
which I need to burn this other end so I can stick it through there better. And this one might, oh, there it goes. Thought I was gonna have to do it from the other direction. <coughs> and you'll wanna stick the rope up through there. Make sure you kinda hold on to this when you let it back in, that way it don't just go crazy on you. Do this, let it go in however far it's going to go unless it's... Yeah. So I got plenty of room there. We'll go ahead and tie a knot on this end. cut that off a little bit and if you got a cigarette lighter or whatever that'll work on burning these too you don't have to have a little torch like this just I never carry a lighter and this works better after you do that let it cool off a minute Take and pull that back into that little hole part and let it slide back in and you just put it back on there sometimes when you're putting it back on the engine you may have to pull it a little bit to get the tabs to line up like they need to but put it back on put your bolts back in and that's all there is to changing a rope on a snow blower thank you and don't forget to watch my videos comment like subscribe and have a great day everybody bye